So hi, Junior. Junior says hi to all my subscribers. So the Dodge Dakota steering shaft, everything is all worn out. That's shot. This rubber joint here, that's twisted. I mean, here's the XJ. See how it's, the D is flat with the U joint. Here's the top of the U joint. See how this is all twisted? Yeah, so that's failed. This joint was all loose on the on the rack. So I got to worry about that. But my my new U joint should be here. To, this one was completely shot. And I to get that off, Dodge uses roll pins. You know, in that hole right there to. So you have to buy a roll pin punch, and you got to beat the snot out of it. And then to get it out, it's a hollow steering column. So I ended up using an old Mercedes flex disc bolt with the these ply or the, the two jaw puller or the you know like that, and it worked. I had to heat it up and hit it with the air hammer while I was torquing on it. But my actual U joint should be here tomorrow. So here's my setup. You know. This is just a Jeep XJ shaft, and I, this comes down to this internal piece comes down to about here, and this end will go into the into the aftermarket U joint, and then this will go on. This end will go on the rack, and one handed here again. Ah, damn it! Sorry, Junior, it was scary. So yeah, I can I can adjust that back and forth. It'll move. It'll be whatever length it needs to be. And I'll just put the U joint on the end. Thirty uh, three quarter inch thirty six spline for an eighty nine Dodge Dakota. So like I know that the part is obsolete, but I think that works pretty good. You know, I think that I think that'll be sufficient. I mean, there's no insulator in it, so I'll feel everything. But it's better than six inches of slop in the steering. And once again, Junior, thanks you for coming to our channel.